Well, it's uh, the day before the main planting takes place in this garden. The decking uh, is nearly a uh, finished painting. It's existing decking and we're just trying to revamp it, make it look a little bit more contemporary. We've already uh, put the black bamboo in. It's uh, contained within a root guard to stop it spreading at all. I've gone for quite a wide path within this design because you'll often find in a small garden that wide paving and in fact things that are bigger do look good in a small space. In fact, they give the illusion that the garden is much bigger than it actually is. I'm matching the colour of the shed uh, with the decking so that we have a consistency within the design. We've put red shingles on the roof and then we've added a window box here which will be filling with herbs. Now it's a very windy day and you might have noticed we've got most of the tree ferns lying down because it's so windy until they actually go into the ground uh, when of course they'll be perfectly stable uh, and they are lower than the walls so they'll be protected somewhat from the wind although it is exceptionally windy today. Um, and you might be able to just see as well, we've got the irrigation system laid in, the pipe work that goes all over the garden to make sure that all the plants are watered correctly. Big plants in a small space can look spectacular. These olives will be going on the sunnier decking area uh, and they will make a real statement. After five days of planting, here we are. The garden's now finished. It's Saturday afternoon. All the plants are in, the watering system's in, the lighting's in, and this is the finished garden. As you can see, I've put a circular lawn into this design. Now, this is uh, from Easy Grass. This is an artificial lawn. This is one of their top of the range. This is called Mayfair. And it's, uh, it's a great grass because they even put in the dead grass that you get in real grass underneath there. I don't know if you can see that. If you're going to have an artificial grass, it's worth spending some money on. It's fantastic and very, very hard wearing and of course, very low maintenance. Now, underneath this uh, ornamental chip bark is a watering system and also all the cables for the lighting. These are the pipes here. They've got little tiny holes in every so often and they let out small amounts of water and then here we've got a 180 degree sprinkler which sprays water mainly onto the trunk of this tree fern which is where most of the roots are, certainly uh, for the first few years when it's getting established. And here is one of 12 lights we've got in the garden that are made by a company called Hunza. This is a garden that's used for entertaining in the evening so the whole of the, the garden is uh, illuminated which ensures it takes on a real magical quality. I'm particularly pleased with this dining area. We've managed to create quite an expansive space. We've fitted quite a lot in. We've got a dining area, we've got the barbecue. These are recycled plastic panels which come from Australia and they look fantastic when they're backlit. And then we've got this court and steel fire bowl. Absolutely brilliant, I love it. It looks nice anytime really, not just when the fire's lit. It really has added to the look of the garden. The brief was to create a relaxing, entertaining space, low maintenance, and that's what I've created.